most earthquakes and, and all large earthquakes are caused by uh, the motion of the Earth's tectonic plates. So the, the surface of the Earth, the Earth's crust, is broken up into a number of different plates or pieces. And they're all moving around. And, and on the edges of the plates, they're rubbing against each other. And as they rub together, often they get stuck. And that builds up, uh, that builds up tension. And that's released very suddenly. And that's what we feel as an earthquake. Uh, so in Japan, uh, right off the east coast of the Japanese islands, um, there's a major plate boundary between the North American and the Pacific plate, um, and it's what's known as a, um, a convergent plate boundary. So we have two plates that are coming together, and so the motion of the fault is um, kind of like this, um, so sort of sliding, sliding uh, vertically relative to each other. And these types of plate boundaries are associated with the largest earthquakes on Earth. So um, it's not surprising uh, that there was an earthquake of this magnitude in Japan because the tectonic setting of Japan is, is consistent with megathrust earthquakes with this, this type of plate motion. And, and uh, there are earthquakes all the time in Japan. Um, you know, there, there are earthquakes every day, um, relatively small. And in fact, most cases so small they can't be felt. But um, when we look at the, the seismometers that are installed throughout Japan, we see earthquakes happening continuously, and that's just a part of this, how the plate is moving. Um, so it is common, and occasionally there are larger events. And what's interesting about this Honshu event was that uh, now we know that there were some foreshocks. So there were some earlier earthquakes that occurred about two days ago um, that appear to have been essentially early indications of this event. Um, so that's one thing that's quite interesting. Now, the problem with foreshocks, we do see that with many earthquakes, is that we really can't tell it's a foreshock until we see the main shock. Um, so they're only recognizable in hindsight. Um, but again, I think a lot of focus is going to be on, um, on you know, whether these foreshocks were an indication that a larger event was coming. Um, so that's certainly a question that might be addressed by some of the data that was collected during this event.